kids their faces when they get to choose their books. The yeah. smiles. Wow. Yeah, right. Yeah. I'll tell you, good weekend coming up to read a book inside because it's going to be hot again. Or maybe by the pool with Labor Day weekend coming up, the last unofficial weekend of the summer. Let's go ahead and show you a dual Doppler right now, tracking an outflow boundary that continues to push to the southwest. You can see from southeastern Osage County, southern portions of Washington County, all the way down to the southeast towards the prior area. And really the only thing you'll notice, you can see it's already beginning to fizzle pretty much kind of weakening behind it, a little bit of a wind shift, maybe a few degrees off the temperatures, but that's about it. Yeah, you can tell it's summer when we're really having to get the magnifying glass out to find something. And there's that outflow boundary. Even our camera's having a tough, tough time focusing on it because it's so weak. All right, so looking at allergy report, unfortunately, the ragweed in the high category, ragweed alert for us here in eastern Oklahoma, tis the season. It is a good sign, though, because that means fall is not too far away. And officially, for us meteorologists, fall begins tomorrow. Why is that? Well, we keep our fall records from September 1st to December 1st. And, of course, the summer records end. Today would be the last day of it. So if we ever say a cooler than normal summer, officially this would be the last day of our record-keeping summer. And then fall records begin starting tomorrow. So if you want to mentally prepare yourself for a early fall. Well, there you go. A meteorologist start tomorrow. Temperatures right now. It's hot in the central plains, mid to upper nineties, Houston at 98 degrees. We find cooler weather in Bismarck at 83, the twin cities at 77. It is a good sign for us that these temperatures are finally beginning to cool down some, not a whole lot, but some, and eventually that cooler air is going to push the south into our area as we head into the extended. It's going to take a little while, but it will arrive. I promise you that and uh, should be here in about seven days. Meanwhile, this weekend, really hot on Saturday. I mean, Saturday's just going to be downright sultry, mid 90s, high heat index values. And then a weak front arrives and knocks us down lower 90s, a little more bearable uh, for Sunday afternoon with lower 90s for area temperatures. Now, as we look to the extended, finally, we start to see the chances for rain return and the potential for half inch to an inch of rainfall next week. And we do need some rainfall. Our lake levels are starting to really begin to recede. Our uh, grass has really become rather dry, so this will be good for us. And this won't occur until the middle of next week. Meanwhile, it's hot right now, 95 degrees, a little bit of variable wind at this hour. 42% humidity. Today's high 95 after a start of the day at 76. So we're at our current high for the day. Heat index value makes it feel a little hotter at 98. 101 over in Pawnee and Old Mulkey coming in at 99. Tomorrow morning, temperatures are going to start in the mid-70s. So warm start to your morning. Hot afternoon, mid to upper 90s. Maybe the far east Oklahoma might experience an isolated storm. Otherwise, we look at the extended and a big cool down on the way. Starting Tuesday as a cool front arrives during the day. Knocks us down the 80s for highs and some lows in the 50s and 60s by the middle of next week. Something to look forward to. More for you right after this. So what do you get when you cross a robot with a taxi? A robo-taxi, of course.